Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany and now we have a new video session and I'm a little bit excited because uh, the first pick and place moves was happened and you see this at the end of the video session. Before I want to explain um, some new features in Chili Pepper, also my a yeah, little bit crazy um, putting together the things on the CNC machine. You see a Raspberry, you see also a, a two air valves, some things from the aquarium store and so on. You will see. I think uh, it will be a very nice video session. Enjoy it and don't speak about it. Do it. So first of all, I want to show you some new features in Chili Pepper. Um, First, I need, uh, I thought I need a camera, uh, but it's not necessary, but I checked the camera widget from John and I said, okay, let's go. Uh, I change a little bit. I tune this up. Uh, the first of all was um, to use um, the MJPEG server. The good thing is he used uh, the MJPEG stream hardware encoded from the camera and, and the good thing is it is not necessary to uh, use extra CPU power. I can show you this. Here you see uh, uh, my Raspberry Pi in the basement and here you see the MJPEG streamer. Uh, where is it now? Ah, damn, da. And you see now he used only 2.6 percent on the CPU and uh, deliver a live cam uh, um, uh, stream with 640 to 480. And you see here the, the first feature, if you hover uh, the mouse to this, then he zoomed this um, four times uh, that you can see better things and so on. Now I stream 640 to 480. I think it's better because um, I have not so good connection with my Wi-Fi and Raspberry and so on. And I go to the basement, check something, go up. I do this 10 times. I don't know uh, fitness also. I have fitness between my bureau computer and my uh, basement Raspberry Pi. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and you see also a, 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 a ruler. Uh, the good thing is you, you can, okay, he zoomed this uh, four times, but he has also a very nice feature now. Um, you can um, press the control key and then you click in the area you want to move. Here a little demonstration, you see, or this direction or this direction, we go to this. Uh, and if you go more and more to this uh, corner here, then the distance is longer. And now you can say, okay, I want to do this here in the middle and um, a little bit down and very good. So <clears throat> go up and then you see the zooming is extraordinary. It's very cool. And uh, you can, yeah, you can direction your machine to a specific point. In example, we want to use this little point here. Now, control click and T move to this direction, hopefully, or my stream. Sometimes the stream needs some times uh, because, yeah, my connection are not so good, but it doesn't care. So, and now you can yeah, close to this point. You see, it works. And um, to explain a little bit the buttons and so on on the camera feature here, I forgot this. Um, you can go to the preferences button and you put your new stream URL. You see, this is uh, the, the IP uh, for my Raspberry, the port, and then you say uh, question sign action uh is um equal stream i don't know the right <laughs> english word and um also very interesting is here the real distance with you can measure the zooming picture and now it's gone um with a ruler and uh, for me it's 12 millimeters and then the moving with the control click are close to perfect so that's the preferences windows of this um, camera widget. 
If you change here the stream, then the stream will change immediately immediately sofort <laughs> and uh, you can close this i hope this works now yeah it works and um also you can go um you can make this uh small this widget and the stream will stop it in this moment maybe it's good for you you have not so good connection to your basement or so then it's cool to switch off this camera with this button yeah and on and you see the stream is uh, is accessed. Uh, also, you can uh, stop the stream here and activate the stream. It's pretty straightforward, and I think it's uh, very nice. Yes, that's the first one. The next one, uh, how can I wait a moment? Set machine zero. Yeah, okay. The next one was uh, the eager import dispenser feature. I was a little bit upset because I, I, I know I developed this, but I need a function to say, um, okay, I want make dispenser drops on this component, but not on this component. And you see here uh, my, oh, now come a little bit more, a little bit more. I had was a, the, the right mouse button here, okay. And now you see here it's Arduino Uno, yeah. And uh, you don't want to make um, an example here on the USB port uh, uh, solar drops. Then you click on, and the solar drops are gone. You click, you click again, the solar drops there. And this is very good. You can also use this with uh, big ones here, the, the MCU or only this here. It is the, so, uh, the solar drops will move for the whole component. I think that it's logic. Yes, because um, sometimes you have uh, some uh, pads or so. Maybe you don't want this here. And the funny thing was you go back and then go to the dispenser tab and you see uh, now uh, or he, he remember on this yes but he remembered on this only temporary maybe we can make this uh, to um, save this um, uh, for every eagle board to remember um, um, the solar drops uh, are displayed but i think yeah, it's okay. Um, maybe in the next version or so we do this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that was all. The very nice camera widget here and um, uh, the the solar dispenser uh, feature. The next time I want to explain um, in a basement my uh, new PNP uh, holder and um, the camera and so on, and I think you like it. Hello friends, next one I want to explain the gasket adapter. You see this gasket adapter is 3D printed, this orange piece here. And uh, you need also um, some new screws. It's um, M2 multiplicate, I think 30 millimeter long. Four of them, I got this on eBay, it was very cheap, maybe one euro or so. Um, but the trick is, the gasket adapter in this combination are not airtight. You have to, uh, yes, tune up a little bit. I use um, a little silicon pipe from our uh, famous silicon pipe. We get this with uh, this with um, the canulas and so on. And uh, yes, you can get aquarium silicon pipe or so put this inside, make a little bit oil on, on this side and also on this side, and then screws together, and then it's airtight. The problem, the stepper here will go hot if you run the stepper more as five minutes or so, in my uh, uh, case, in my framework, and <clears throat> the gasket adapter are not very uh, he is very temperature sensitive. Now my adapter uh, make a curve here. He is a little bit um, melted, but he is airtight. I think that's enough. But I use uh, maybe I let it print in another material, but it's not so temperature sensitive. The air valves, you see, uh, we need two of them. The, the first one, you see also the, the 
very cheap uh, air pump um, he is installated as vacuum pump but works very well and i like it then you need two of this air valves the one First of all, the one is for vacuum and the second one, it's very interesting, let the vacuum flow, this um, is not correct here, this silicon pipe, I want to show you this in one second. Um, okay, the, the vacuum will flow this vent here now. And if you want to switch off the vacuum, then you have to let the, the, let the air through also the outside air through the silicon pipe it's very important because your uh, smd uh, component will glue on this uh, nozzle and this is not very nice <clears throat> here you see uh, the connections from the other side uh, i have a little arduino with the arduino shield this is a very cheap shield with some drivers to control the solar dispenser and here is the uh, vacuum stepper and also you see the connection they go to the air valve you don't see this here that's the connection to the air valve uh, and this will control over a MOSFET driver um, we have 12 volt and this little guys here they switch three ampere unbelievable and the interesting thing is the the plus 12 volt you have to connect to the main connector and the little one here that's switch um, this 12 volt to the ground and then switch to the um, and then switch on uh, the virus here you see the connect uh, the correct connection um, you see here it's on spin enable, coolant enable, and then we can um, and, uh, control our air valves uh, over uh, M3, M5, I think here, and uh, M7, M8, coolant enable and spindle, spindle enable, and then, uh, yeah, it works very well. Sorry very for cool. the portrait uh, format here in this video session, but now you can see everything on my um, X displays header. Um, I want uh, a little bit explain about um, the the virus and so on. You see here the two virus. The one is only for the vacuum and the second it's very interesting because you see here a T junction T uh, piece. Uh, this this year it's a uh, wait ah, yeah, maybe i go to the other side it's better <laughs> uh, this is the silicon pipe comes from the pump go in the first value the uh, valve and then uh, go to this junction adapter to my um yeah gas uh thing here on a stepper this one here it's very cheap maybe one bucks uh, in an in a animal store uh, you can get this for aquarium fans or so. Um, <clears throat> and both virus are connected to the uh, Arduino uh, GEAR uh, second CNC controller. And this one, I switched this on and off with the spindle control and the second one with the coolant control or mist control. Very important. Also, I have to design a new um, pick and place platform because uh, don't use magnets the problem is the I can show you this the nozzle it's made in steel this means it is it is magnetic and the problem is you can see this here with this uh, SMD components and normal resistor they are also magnetic and this is not good because um, if you want to lie this SMD component to the surface and it's go up, then you will see uh, it will um, um, a glue on this nozzle and it's not very good. Don't use magnets in the whole system. Now you see the first dry, uh, dry run and um, I'm very happy with it. 
the stepper with the music will rotate. But also, you see, um, I changed the holder from magnetic style to yeah, uh, wood style and with four screws and works okay. But I want to produce this in 3D. Uh, you know, I have here a 3D service not so far from me, 3dhubs.com, and um, this man makes very good work. He print all my things. You see, um, the machine works yeah, close to very good accurate. Um, the rotation and so on works very well. The next try is uh, with yeah, a little bit bigger SMD parts. <laughs> because all my SMD parts I had uh, in the last trial was magnetic because of this magnetic thing here. See, very nice. Pump on and go to the PCB. Rotate in the right direction. Put it on a surface and go back. Ah, I'm, very, I'm a little bit proud about this. Here from the another perspective. And um, yeah, we... I think we have to make some calibration things and so on, but for the first time looks very good. I will wrote um, about calibration and so on uh, a wiki uh, article in uh, my X displays and uh, want to describe uh, what do you have to do to prepare your machine for this pick and place. It's a little bit complicated, but I think we can automatically the thing I want to write a test before you start the whole process you can test if the vacuum pump uh, working uh, rotates and use the stepper is the dispenser uh, uh, perfect and so on and I think, so now uh, I think we make you this have a lot of information and um, you see uh, the winter project it close at the end I am and John, we have a lot of ideas and um, for the next uh, part steps and so on. But first of all, I have to prove that we can mill dispensing and we can place a PCB on my machine. <clears throat> I think that's the last video session. Then uh, for the summertime, because summertime I have uh, a lot of vacations, make some fun, fly, uh, in example, in two weeks I fly to Malta. Um, and yes, <clears throat> to make a little break for the summer and then we have to uh, yeah tune up our um, X-Displays project. First of all, I have to say, um, Many thanks to a lot of people, to uh, John Lauer, to Ray, and also to other people in open PNP community, in the Chili Pepper community, and so on. They help me a lot. Wait for my last video session for the winter time. I want to prove uh, that we can complete uh, meal dispensing and pick and place a PCP. Yes, and then I make a break, maybe three, four months. But uh, watch uh, the communities, uh, chili pepper and so on. I'm not that. I'm here and uh, yeah, you know. Bye bye.